Is the Jaguar F-Type a car that you can use all year round? Of course, the F-Type comes with an immense amount of power, sitting at 380 brake horsepower, being the V6S. Usually these are rear wheel drive as well, which can make it a little bit sketchy come winter time. This example we have here is an all wheel drive, which makes it a little bit different from the rest on the market. My name is Will from ALX Specialist Cars. In today's video, we're gonna be exploring this car and discussing, could you really use it all year round? So this is it, the V6S Jaguar F-Type. And if you have been keeping an eye on our social media or just our website, you'll notice we get a lot of Jaguars, a lot of F-Types, and we do get them all year round, and that's because they sell very well, they're very popular cars, and they represent incredible value for money. This is a 2016 example. It's covered just over 30,000 miles, so not a lot at all, and it's finished in chorus gray, which is one of the, the lighter grays in the Jaguar Land Rover color palette. It is also a paid for option, so it's not a color you see all the time, which is nice. I think when you're specking such a special car, you want something that's a little bit different from what you might see on the road, and this is absolutely that. It's then got the gloss black accents you'll see on here. Sometimes you can get these in chrome. On this particular example, it is in black, so it's more of a stealth, sort of dark and moody look, which I think works very well with the F-types. But then the one thing you will have noticed, which is well, it's quite a bright thing, is the interior. So it's got the Cirrus red leather interior, which I absolutely love on the F-Types. We've had a couple with the Cirrus red leather interior. They've always sold very, very well, and I think people absolutely love the Cirrus red leather interior. In this particular example here, it is, of course, the upgraded sports seats as well. So you'll notice, again, different from the rest on the market, more of a, a rally sort of bucket style seat. You could describe them as more hugging as well. And the Cirrus red leather you'll see runs on the center console as well, as well as the ebony contrast for the rest of the dashboard. The Jaguar F-Type is of course a two-seater sports car as I mentioned. It's powered by a three liter, and this is the V6S. Now what does the S actually mean? Well, it's different trim on the interior just slightly. I'll show you that shortly, but it's little bronze touches and that's how you tell you've got the S, but it's also more power and it takes it to 380 brake horsepower, which goes without saying is an immense amount of power. Now, I was also always surprised with the, the F-Types of the space you do get on them. As I mentioned, it is a two-seat sports car, so you don't buy it full of space, but the boot space on an F-Type is, well, surprising. So as you'll see inside, as well as being absolutely unmarked, the condition is just incredible, as is the space. I, I don't think you would expect this from a sports car, a two-seat sports car, and that's why I think the F-Types are popular, because it is a car um, that perhaps you can use all year round if you want to. And the F-Type V6S is from the rear, you see the twin exhaust just in the center there. And then the one unique thing is the all-wheel drive badge here. So as I mentioned once before, this car is all-wheel drive. Usually these cars are rear-wheel drive, so it's quite special to have one all-wheel drive. And that's what makes this potentially a car that you could use all year round. Not saying you couldn't just with the rear-wheel drives, but it would certainly be a handful. Inside the cabin, guys, if you are going to be uh, sort of watching this video, chances are you want to be a driver, and I, I don't blame you. It's an absolutely incredible place to be. The V6S sees the touches of bronze just on the starter button on the little sports mode selector there. But then as a place to be, you get electric seats. You can adjust the, the backrest as well as just the, uh, the height of the, the bottom part of the seat. It's a petrol automatic, but then you've got the paddles on the back of the steering wheel as well. If you did want to shift it up into manual mode, you absolutely can. This car's then got the active sports exhaust, which is basically a valved exhaust. So you can press a button in the center console that'll open up the valves and let out the incredible sound that the V6S produces. Now getting in a Jaguar F-Type, well, it feels very special. It feels very luxurious. And I think the thing that Jaguar do very, very well is balance the, the luxury build that Jaguar are known for, but then with the power and the aggression that you get from the outside of it. Things on the interior, just to highlight the panoramic roof, that's a big option on these cars, quite an expensive one at that. Um, when the first person specced it, they paid for that. And it's also got a blind, which you simply pull across like that. If you sort of, it, it is a summer's day, the sun's beating down, you don't want the, the sun coming through, absolutely pull that through and you'll be fine. Now the active sports exhaust I mentioned, I'll show you a few of the controls you get on here. So the active sports exhaust is this button here, as I mentioned, just opens the valves. That one raises the, the spoiler because they do have an electronically adjustable spoiler. If you go above a certain speed, it'll lift automatically and tell everyone that you've been speeding, but you can actually press it on with that button there. The screen on these 
very intuitive, very easy to use. It is all touchscreen, so it's got radio, sat nav, uh, Bluetooth, all the normal stuff you'd expect. But then if I click across here, you'll see you've got more settings such as ambient lighting, cameras because it's got reverse camera, which again is another option. It's then got front park assist as well, which is an addition to the reverse camera. So you've got to pay for both of those separately, which the original owner did. Dynamic, that's where you can actually adjust each of the settings of the sport motors you would like so you can change the engine tune uh, the gear shift the steer and suspension and you can do all that individually so it's sort of tweaked to how you would like it and you can save that so you'll be good to go and then one more thing it's also got heated seats which you can control on here but enough talk about that let's check out how it sounds Sure guys you won't disagree with me when I say it sounds absolutely insane now I had the exhaust valves open which allows a little bit of pops you might have noticed just light pops and sort of crackles nothing obnoxious it does sound very very good and with the exhaust valve closed it'll just be a nice sort of monotone um, but gentle sound and what a lot of people and Jaguar enthusiasts say is the V6 engine in this car is actually one of the best sounding V6 engines in the world whether that's true or not, I'll let you guys decide in the comments below, but I think it sounds fantastic. So guys, that is the Jaguar V6S. I mean, what a car, what a color, what a specification. And of course, this is the all wheel drive variant. So is it a car you could use all year round? Would you want to? Let us know in the comments below, but I think it does work. If it was just the rear wheel drive, might be saying a little bit sketchy, but with the all wheel drive functionality, it would be an absolute pleasure to drive this car all year round. It's just coming to stock today. Uh, my number is on the screen. If you would like to contact me or any of the team and get any more information on the car at all, please do so and we'd be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.